Now I'd like to look at how do we go in and create tables with an existing database. My MySQL sample database, which I just created, is now active and ready for us. When you use a host like one in one or GoDaddy, because it's on a separate server, it takes time to set up. This can take anywhere from about a minute, maybe two on the short end, to 10 minutes usually on the long end. Usually by that time it's created. It all depends upon how many other requests are being processed at that time. Now I'm going to click on the PHP My Admin so I can create the tables. It's going to open up in a new window. I'm going to come right here to my left hand side and click on my database name, which is the only one I see. Because I don't have any tables, right now it's going to ask me to create a new table. A table is where we store our groups of related information. So if we had a guest book, this is where we would store all of our entries. So I'm going to go in and create a simple guest book table and I need to know how many fields. Now this is something I should have already figured out beforehand. What am I going to be looking at storing in my information? So for example, the guest book, I'm going to need a field for the person who entered it. I'm going to need a field for the actual entry and I'm going to want a field for the date that it was entered. I'm also going to want to have a field so I can identify each unique row. This is going to be referred to as my primary key. So that's my fourth field. I'll say go. I usually make my unique key my first field so it's easy to find and identify. Since it's an identifier, I usually name it something like ID or guest book ID. As a primary key, I often like to make mine auto numbers, which means I'm going to come down here, go to int, under my attributes, I'm going to choose unsigned, under extra, I'm going to choose auto increment. This basically means that each time someone enters in a new row, it's going to automatically update the number. That way the user never has to enter it in. They don't have to know what, that it's even there. And then I'm going to select my very first column, this radio button which is for a primary key. Next come over and choose for a person's name. I have a type of varchar by default and that's going to be fine. But I need to say how many characters is it going to be. So what I need to figure out is what's the maximum number of characters a person's name would probably be. I'll give it 32. I'll leave everything else the same. Next thing I'm going to enter is the enter date. I'll just call it entered. I'll look for a date format. I have a couple of different ones I want to be careful of. Let's have a date time. I have a time stamp. I have just a time. I'm just looking for a date that has entered. You can choose a different one based upon your needs. All the errors I'm going to leave defaulted. And last I'm going to choose is going to be a large area for them to enter in their comment. I don't want to choose Varchar. This Varchar, I have a link that loads me to 255 characters, and if anyone wanted to have a larger comment, it would be shown here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this down, one called text. It's near the top, because we use it quite a bit, and everything else is going to be left blank. I'm going to choose Save. This is a SQL statement that shows you what it would take to create it. If we need to go back in and create this maybe on another database sometime later we could copy this and just paste it in. And here's a list of my table. Now if I want to go and create a new table, pretty simple. I'll click over here on my database again. Down here I have the option to create a new, data, new table in my database. It choose its name, for example, user accounts, and I can choose the number of fields. I might have something as simple as two in this case, because I want the person's username and I want the password. The username is going to be a unique field and therefore I'm not going to worry about needing a unique identifier like I did with the guest book. So I'll say OK. Enter username, we have varchar. My username could have a limit, for example, of 16 characters. 
come over here, choose as a primary key. My next field, password, also a variable character field with a maximum of 16 characters. And I'm not going to choose a primary key. I'm just looking for a username unique and click Save. I can go through this and look at this, make changes as necessary. If I ever need to make a change, I can go into PHP My Admin. On my left hand side, I see a list of my tables that I've created. I can select one and I'll put the information. So if I need to, for example, add fields or remove a field from my database table, I'm able to do that. 